Hi, I'm Susan, Fitness from the Pro and TPI Golf Certified Specialist. Today we're going to talk about power, power in your golf swing. The power will give you the distance that you seek. But before we get to power, we also have to work on stabilization. And one of the most basic stabilization uh, exercises that you could do is standing on one leg. So I'm just going to stand on my right leg with my left knee lifted. That is your option one. Second option is we're going to add a little medicine ball here. I have a four pound medicine ball only because it fits in my hand perfectly. So we're going to push it up, switch hands, push that ball up, switch hands, and this we have movement lengthening the levers and it requires more stabilization. My belly button is pulled into the spine. I'm focusing on something still, which is you. And then whatever we do on that right leg, we have to do on our left leg. So I'm gonna stand on my left leg. I'll put the ball in my right hand, lifting that knee so it's 90 degrees from the ground. Pull the belly button into the spine. Push that ball up and overhead. And then just switch from hand to hand. Keeping that core active. And I had a client who we started out like this and he kept putting his foot down and that's okay. But by the end of our sessions, he was standing like a champ on one leg and switching balls, switching the ball from hand to hand. So after we move on with stabilization, we're talking about power now. <clears throat> And I've got a six pound medicine ball here. And there's several different progressions on where to start with. Right now, we're gonna start with holding on to that ball. And I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you. My elbows are lifted. I'm in my golf posture. And we're just gonna rotate side to side. Rotation here. Now notice, when I rotate, my hips are facing right, now left, and I'm pivoting on that toe while I continue to press my palms into the ball. My shoulder blades are squeezing together behind me. This is option one. I also have a helper here, and his name is Kevin. He's going to be assisting me with our future progressions. Our next progression is just going to be holding it at your hip and we're going to rotate. Hold it at the hip and rotate. At that left hip, reach right. Left hip. We want to add power. Notice when I get to this part, my hips should be facing the right. And whatever we do to the right, we also have to do to the left just because we want that symmetry. So you're gonna hold it at that right hip, rotate left, hold, pivot on that toe, hold, pivot, hold, pivot. This is your next option. So this is option two. Option three is we're gonna stay with those legs hip width apart my, my ball is going to be on the left hip. I'm sitting back into that. Now I'm going to rotate and pivot. Sit back, rotate, and pivot. And I'm throwing that ball. Sitting back into those heels and pivot. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Sit back into those heels and rotate. And you can see this power with the rotation. Once you sit back, you want to rotate. Now, here's where my partner comes in. This is the, the highest or the top progression that you want to do with your power. You're going to sit back into that, into those heels in your golf posture. I'm going to rotate and throw. And he's coming back to me. Sit back, rotate. 
sit back, rotate, and you want to push the ball from your chest, getting that power. Kevin, if you could, we'll come over on the other side, sitting back into that right hip, going to rotate and throw. Sit back in the hip, sit back in the hip, one more time, sitting back and throw, and you'll get power. Notice the whole body is moving, I'm getting the power from the ground and rotating and pushing through the chest, which is exactly what you need for power in your golf swing. So I just showed you the progressions of how that one little exercise can start out simple and then push to be very powerful. And that's what you need if you want to get a better game for your golf game. Thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is LWCA Fitness on YouTube. We'll see you next time.